Welcome back everyone. Welcome back to Let's Play Car Mechanic Simulator 21. We're repairing this uh, guy's BMW because, well, he uh, sort of borrowed it from his dad. Uh, Reed took without consent and then completely thrashed it and trashed it as well. So, we've repaired all of the uh, suspension problems and we've refilled the oil, well, changed the oil and such. Uh, now we have to repair a lot of this stuff. Unfortunately, I cannot actually. Okay, front bumper B, front left fender, front right fender. So, a lot of this stuff needs to go. Um, this needs to go. This needs to go. The headlights seem to be okay. Uh, brake disc, don't need that. So, what else? Rear bumper B, right headlight B. Really? What's wrong with it? Oh, Panther. Alright, so rear bumper needs to go as well. Man, that's... <laughs> uh, change oil. Spray car with factory paint. And refill windshield washer fluid. Oh yeah, we have to do that as well. We might as well do it now. There. So now the question is... These body parts... Where'd they go? Why did I get... Oh, here they are. These body parts are all below 15%, which means we most likely cannot repair them. Uh, by buying the this welder here it extends your service to include full body repairs. What does this guy want again? Full body repairs or let's see, just replace that and then spray it with a factory paint. I'm assuming we'll have to wash it first. So that means that means we have to buy all of this license plate. I guess we... Well, it didn't say to replace that. So we have to buy all of this stuff. Let's see how much that is. So, body shop. Alright. Oh, yeah, we have to click on it. F. What? Okay. It's the wrong panther, I guess. Uh, no, it's not. It's the FMW Panther Mark 1. FMW Panther Mark 1. What? Okay. Okay. So, let's see. Front bumper. These are actually not that expensive. So... Do these fit or not? What's what's going on? On bumper. Yes, they do. There's just a big problem with the um I don't know. I guess there's just a big problem with uh, the buying. Hmm. Rear bumper B. Uh Well, there's a rear bumper. Rear bumper B. There's no rear bumper B here. There's just a rear bumper. No. Yeah, let me. Okay, front left fender. So front left fender. We also need the front right fender, I believe. Uh, we also need the which headlight? So. Uh, Fender, front right fender, and the right headlight. So, right headlight. Okay, so front right headlight. And I'm pretty sure he would notice a completely, completely new parts on his car. And that it was, if it was professionally resprayed, you'd definitely see that. Okay. So, now it just needs the, uh, the bumper in the back. 
front bumper B. Oh no, see, it's not it. Okay, so there must be there must be more than one panther. So panther. Oh frickin' hell, there is. Alright. No, it's not actually, and that's also not the car. Okay, this is getting ridiculous. This is the FMW 1999. I mean uh, 1990. FMW Panther Mark 1. So 1990 FMW Panther Mark 1. Yes? There's even a little house thingy, which I'm assuming means that we have this car in our shop. Yes? There's a whoa, there's a lot of cars here. How is there What is going on here? I don't get it. What am I missing? I wish I wish this damn game would tell me exactly where these bloody things are instead of me having to actually go to the right one. There's only two Panthers and this is the 1991. And yet, they have none of the... Well, there's a front bumper, but even if I put it on there, it says this is not the right one. See, because this is the B one. Put that back on. So, front bumper. It just says front bumper B. There we go, now it says B. Right there. And no add-ins in the section. Is it? Wait a second. Is it in the body tuning? Ah. <sighs> All right. All right. I get it. Why are there two things? Why is it at body tuning and a body shop? That doesn't make... Oh, I suppose. So that one is the stock one. Mark one front bumper. What? But I've just... Oh, I've bought the, the, the rear bumper. Okay. Which I don't think is... No, it needs... <laughs> Kill me now. Kill me now. I'm clicking too fast instead of just... No, it is the B. Okay, no. That's, that's fine. That's fine. Okay. So now I need the front bumper. So the front bumper B, Mark 1. Yes. Oh. B. There you go. What happened to the license plate? Oh, because I'm removing stuff apparently. Alright, so now... right headlight B which is this is not I, I thought it was completely different but I was like wait a second <clears throat> well that's nice uh, money nicely uh, wasted right headlight B okay I was just making sure that the game actually considered this the left one and this the right one <laughs> yeah wasted a bit of money there but well Alright, so B. Well, it is kind of cool that it allows you... It doesn't quite look right, but apparently it is. Alright, so now we just have to spray it, and we do have the money for that. Oh, man. Alright, so let's uh, buy this. The paint shop. And I'm going to assume... We don't need to actually wash it, but I'm going to buy the car wash anyway. I'm not going to go too crazy with buying things, though. So, 
let's move this thing to the spray uh, to the paint shop first and see what happens will it allow us to spray paint it or not well, that's cool i like the uh i like the reflections this game could uh, could use some uh, ray tracing <laughs> man i'm so impressed with ray tracing now that i have a ray tracing capable card paint shop okay paint car current color factory color it was white well, I'm assuming it was metallic. So, uh, paint. I guess you can without actually washing it. Interesting. But I want to wash it anyway. I mean, that would make sense, right? Oh, do we have to do it manually? Yes. Does that cost? Woo! That's kind of cool, actually. <laughs> Oh man, this car is just destroyed. But that was cool. What was this interior detailing? Yeah. Yes. It doesn't seem to cost any... Um, yeah, I'm not sure you want to do that inside. It doesn't seem to cost anything. So that's kind of cool. Uh, is there anything else here that you can do? Not really, it seems. Okay. So let's move it to the pay, uh, spray paint. Or, well, not spray paint, but paint shop. And paint shop, paint shop. Paint part. Nothing else here. Okay. So, painted the factory color. Hopefully that's going to be it. A thousand for that. Uh, yeah, that doesn't... That doesn't quite look... Back to uh, the original... <laughs> But, it seems like that's it, so uh, we can finish the order. <laughs> well, we've uh, we actually we've actually made money on this, because remember, we've spent 15000 on a paint shop. Oh, wow. That's some big doors. Uh, 15000 on the paint shop. Uh, 1500 on the other stuff. We can also salvage stuff, right? Yeah, there we go. We can salvage the really old stuff. Big bonus. Uh, it's unfortunately I cannot just select just everything below fifteen percent. Bonus. I want I want the big bonus. Yeah, I want the big bonus. Well, or just no no bonus. No, I I wanted that bonus. Let's go for no the big bonus. I wanted. Wait a second. Oh yeah, that's the old one. All right. Oil filter, we can also sell, so that's good. We are spraying. Big bonus. Bonus. Big bonus. And that's gonna, that's gonna take a long time. Do I really have to do all of this? I mean, I do. Ah. Big bonus. Big bonus. I want the big bonus. Thank you. I want the big bonus, but I didn't get it. That's how life is. Wait, where's the rest of the stuff? Oh, yeah. Because the game does a weird thing where it shows you only the stuff on this page. And then the rest of this... Yeah, we can also salvage that. And the rest of the stuff I'm going to keep. Even the 16% ignition coil for now. <laughs> All right. So that was good. Lots of XP, lots of stuff. We've got new things here. So that's good. Um, welder, that's 5,000, repairing body panels, dyno, we don't need that right now, paint shop level 2, enhanced color palette and paint types to your paint shop, requires expansions, okay, paint shop level 3, test path, 10,000, yeah, I'll probably just, oh wow, we've got 9 available skill points already, holy moly, that's really good, I'm gonna get this, lovely, and this will cost six. Uh, ability to fix body parts, increase chance of instant repair. Yeah, we'll, uh, we'll wait for now. All right, so let's see what else we're getting. Oh, a cool, an old American van. Hi, my sister recommended your workshop. Truth be told, when I learned the location, I couldn't believe that there was anything standing here at all. And yet here you are, a great garage. Back to the car. I'm coming with my truck. That's not a truck, that's a van. 
I use it every day at work. It's a bit worn out, but it's not missing anything. Apart from the engines crackling and drops in power, I don't see any major problems. But maybe it's a matter of habit. Please take a closer look at the suspension. The car is often carrying some loads. Do the routine checkup and make it usable for a few more years. Thanks. All right, we can uh, certainly do that. <clears throat> what else do we have here? BMW, the Dutch Docker. Oh, that's... It's like an old Honda, I want to say. I'm not, I'm not sure. The Nissan, that's cool. Oh, and it's gone. Okay, we'll take the story one then. <laughs> Man, look at this thing. Let's wash it first, because now we have the ability. See, and instead of actually selling the car at the wash here, what I should have done is move it back to the garage... And it actually takes less time to do so than selling it here than walking back. But then again, I, I did do the salvaging as well. So I suppose that's all right. All right, wash the car. You know, see, this is completely pointless doing this because we're not getting anything because the, uh, the customer did not um, request it. But it would be nice if there was some sort of a reputation thing where, you know, you could actually spend some money on this and they would say, oh man, this is so nice, I didn't ask for it, but, but the car looks lovely now because, you know, it's all rusty but clean. Um, <laughs> we should repaint it. All right, let's go to the car lift. All righty. So first of all, we will do some diagnosis. Look at that. It's a small V8. Oh, small unit. This engine can be started. How'd you get it here, then? It would be cool that um, uh, the alternator seems to be done. Look at that. Uh, let's do the electronic moly meter. I'm going to say the, the, uh, the alternator is all bad. Starter as well. So we can replace those, and then hopefully, we can also do the uh, all the compression tests and such, or some extra XP. Alright, uh, compression tester is not going to do it. This car is too old to have OBD, and that's about it. A boot. Alright, so what else did it say? It wanted the oil changed, and the brake fluid, coolant fluid, and power steering fluid. So pretty much everything. So we're going to go to the drain fluid and just drain every 10. And not the windshield. It doesn't need that. So that's that. Uh, we also need to drain the oil, but that's fine. <clears throat> uh, oh yeah, coolant. Coolant. Power steering brake, we did. Uh, so we need to do the coolant as well. Train. Alright, excellent. Now we can start taking stuff apart. But before we do that, I'm actually gonna drain the oil. Just in case we take something off that uh, will uh, cause the oil to get out. Which will not be very nice. Wow, look at that suspension. Yeah. Well, it's actually... No. It's like a double wish button here. And it's a solid axle with leaf springs. But then again, it is it is supposed to be a, a van to carry heavy stuff. Still, that's not going to be a very nice ride. Um, okay, so uh, while we're down here, let's get rid of the oil filter before we forget. Let's get a new one. Let's also make sure that there's nothing else on the shopping list. Okay, that's just the oil filter. Front sway bar. Uh, actually, I should be doing that uh, as I take it off. So I don't then you know, forget what I've taken off, what I haven't... I mean, what I've added to the shopping list and what I haven't... Oh, and before we do that, I forgot. Examination mode. Engine. Un, deux, trois, quatre... Sun, and then I don't know what else. I'm not really very good at French. And with not very good read, um, I don't speak it. 
Apart from like one line from the Disneyland Paris. Which I don't even remember completely. From Star Wars. <laughs> Uh, ici Rex, votre capitaine, je vais ouvrir la porte de cockpit. Man, I want to go back to Disneyland. Frickin' pandemic. Stupid thing. I hate pandemics, but the problem is, I guess there's going to be more and more of that. Oh yeah, we shouldn't talk about that because YouTube, YouTube gets so crazy about it. As soon as you just mention something like that, it immediately flags your video for... You know, for uh, for erroneous information and such. At least that's I, I haven't I haven't experienced that myself, but I've seen it on videos that, for example, had nothing to do with it, or <clears throat> were actually scientific videos, um, correctly you know explaining uh, all of it and why you should get vaccinated and so on. And you know it, it was. It was very nice, and for some reason, YouTube decided, hey, no, we don't like that. It's just, I don't know. I understand that it's, it would be impossible to police all of the videos on YouTube because there's just so many uploaded every day. But honestly, the, the, the fact that the automatic algorithms screw up that many times, and then you, you do a manual review, you request a manual review... <laughs> And they they immediately say, oh, this has been manually reviewed now, and we've still decided that the video is not fit for whatever. You know, it's like, what? what? Who, who has watched this video? Definitely not a human. It was a manual review. Don't give me that, because... No. Oh. Uh, I don't want that. No. All right, the other side, another front spring, might be able to repair that, I'm not sure, probably not though. So yeah, let's ignore that for now, we've already added the front sway bar, that seems to be the only problem up here. Oh, oh no, it's not, it's also the brakes, but we can put that on a lathe, hopefully. Lovely. And goes off. That is a well-used brake pad and, and uh, disc. So I'm not going to add that to the shopping list. We're going to put it on a lathe and hopefully that's going to be it. That tie rod is 57, I believe. That's fine. 58. Oh, 58 is the minimum. But I don't know if they actually want it to replace. Probably not. That hub is also all bad. Can I do it again? No, I can't. I can only do it one time. My caliper needs to go. How much is that? 53. Okay, some more brake pads, please. And we'll put that on a lathe as well. And then that stuff is not good. No good. I've probably already added a bearing. What about on the other side? Yep, that's no good either. Take that out and add a bearing. All right. At the back. I think. Yeah, that pad needs to go, I believe. Look at these tires. I wonder if these are tube tires or if they're radials. I wonder. <laughs> Alright, there we go. Uh, yeah, that pad needs to go, I believe. And that. Also, the leaf springs need to go. Also, I believe these rubber bushings. <clears throat> yeah, 10%. So, can you? Thank you. That one needs to go as well. A lot of the stuff needs to be replaced, actually, in this. Uh, so... Let's get the... U-bolts. There we go. And 
leaf spring. Did I add that one? Uh, yeah, no, I haven't, of course. There. So, add the shock absorber as well. Oh, it needs the whole housing here. Alright, take that off. Solid axle rear drive. Alright, take that off. And add that. Alright. And then on to the other side. We'll need to take the wheel off anyway. And then, yeah, I really wonder what we can and cannot repair. Because it feels satisfying to repair things, because you know that you're not spending your uh, money on it. It's quite nice. There we go. Lovely. That needs to go as well. And now, we can get that off. And the bolts. Man, just taking cars apart. <laughs> <laughs> completely All right, we've already the no I don't think I have added these small rubber bushings here that that's another thing that I wish would uh, they would add for the quality of life in this game um, when you're buying things instead of just saying how many you want it would also tell you that you already have some like I don't know above whatever 70% or something we also need a new fuel pump. Alright, everything else looks okay here, apart from, of course, the starter. And then up there we've got the fuel filter and such, but we need to drop the car for that. And uh, yeah, stuff over here as well. Uh, so let's see what we actually know. Let's drop the car and then we'll see what we can repair next time. So thank you very much for watching. Let me know down in the comments below if you like this bolt, and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.